So today what we're going to focus on is auxiliary vanishing points in perspective questions, okay? So what are these auxiliary vanishing points? These auxiliary vanishing points are used when there's a slope in the object that we're trying to gain a perspective view of. So you can see the little 3D drawn down I have down here. It's kind of like a ramp, okay? So we'll need an auxiliary vanishing point to find this sloping area in the perspective view. Okay, I've also drawn a simple little plan and elevation of it there, just so we can wrap our heads around it. And there's two different methods for showing, for gaining these auxiliary vanishing points, which I'll go through as well. So that's why we needed the plan and elevation. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to tape on my sheet again. After I have the setup done, in line with either the picture plan, horizon line, or ground line of the T square. So that's already covered in a previous video, and the setup of a of a perspective question is also covered in a previous video so have a look there on the channel if you're unsure on them steps as of yet okay but in this question I'm gonna cover how we find the auxiliary vanishing points so so far I already have the setup of the question done I also have the points that are kind of on the ground brought down or at a lower level okay so basically what I'm focusing on is this rising surface here which we can see over here okay so there's two methods for doing this and I'm going to show both the first method okay is to get the lint of the object on your compass okay so we get the full lint of the object on our compass like shown okay we then bring this Okay, so we know the object is going to be sloping up this way because of the way it was drawn in the plan and elevation. Okay, so we, the object is going to be sloping upwards in this direction. Okay, so we swing this distance on our spectator to vanishing point line. We're after getting this point here, okay. So from that point now, we must go perpendicular to that spectator vanishing point line. Okay, so we end up with this kind of L shape there. You can see this sort of L shape. Yeah. So the next thing we do is we get the height. Of this object once again with our compass for accuracy and we mark that placing the corner of the compass on the lint line we swing that point and from this point we draw it back to the spectator okay so let's just have a think there in a second of what's after happening okay so we got the distance here Of the object, so I call that L. Yeah, so that's for lint. Yeah, and we swung this lint here from the spectator all the way out the vanishing point line. There. Then we got the height of the object. So here, H. I'll call that H for height, and we swung it. On this line keeping perpendicular okay so that's basically what we're after doing we didn't just join that point back to the spectator okay to get the height of the auxiliary vanishing point now okay from vanishing point two we go perpendicular to the line from the spectator to the vanishing point okay so we go perpendicular this line here which gives us this line here and where this crosses the height line we've already drawn this black line represents the height of the auxiliary vanishing point okay simply get this height on our compass and swing it from the vanishing point that crosses the horizon line 
You can see the mark there that I'm after making. And that now is the auxiliary AUX vanishing point one. So that's our auxiliary vanishing point there formed, okay? Likewise, if the question, okay, so on this question they didn't give us the angle, but we had the length of the object and the height of the object. So I measured the length. I was able to step up the height and join it back to the spectator, okay? But similarly, in, an, in a question, you might be given the angle inside here, okay? We'll call this angle delta, okay? And if you're given that, okay, the question can still be solved, okay? So all we do in this scenario is we get our protractor, put the zero, zero line at the spectator and at the vanishing point, and we measure off the angle given like as you can see here this is the line that passes through and once again I go perpendicular from where the vanishing point hits the picture plane to get my height so that black line there represents the height so that's how we'd find the vanishing point the auxiliary vanishing point okay from there then it's similar or pretty much the exact same even as the other questions we've drawn. So I've located my points in the ground. These are just going to the auxiliary vanishing points. This point here then to the auxiliary vanishing point. I have where my object ends here. This is going to go back to the normal vanishing point. So now I can begin to heavy in my object. So it's taking shape now. Now all I need to do is find the position of these two lines, these sloping lines. Okay, so same as before, join them to the spectator. And where they cross the picture plane, I can bring straight down because I have my sheet orientated correctly. To where they hit the object. Down here. And these lines then in turn go back up the auxiliary vanishing point. So that is perspective using auxiliary vanishing points of the shape provided. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share the videos and thanks for watching.